Welcome to Cadwell Park for the seventh round of the HSCC Historic Formula Ford 1600 Championship. It's a two-race weekend here at Cadwell Park for the World Trophy. Sam Mitchell, he returns to the championship and he's on pole position. Alongside him will be Perti Kaviri. Michael O'Brien, he's not there after clash, uh, crashing qualification this morning. Although he only did two flights, he should have started third. So James Buckton, lonely there on row two. Max Bartel and Simon Toyn there, row three. Ben Sims, not the greatest at qualifying from him. He's down in seventh position. Uh, alongside him will be James Hadfield so we can ride on board then with Ben Sims as we start the first race of the weekend here at Cadwell Park one by one staggered grid as you'd expect in um, single seat of racing and the race gets underway as the cars charge down to Coppice for the first time and it's Sam Mitchell who's going to take the lead away from Kaviri not the greatest starts um, is that, is that, um, Bartel Toyn trying to come around the outside of it can't do anything so he tucks underneath and Sims then for tucks underneath Toyn although heading now through Charlie's Sims is coming around the outside of the 16 car of Toyn and he keeps coming around the second part of Charlie's they head onto the part of straight then Sims has got the move done and now up a front Bartel is challenging on James Buckton who sits there in third position great qualifying it was from Buckton and by Kaviri who's in second place and it's side by side between Buckton and Bartel Bartel on the inside for Bart Gordon and Buckton almost clashing wheels with Kaviri as they turn through the corner there and now we turn on to Chris Kerr and Ben Simmons now coming around the outside of Bartel the two cars are side by side as they head down towards the gooseneck then for the first time in this 20 minute race and Bartel goes right around the outside of Sims and then that, uh, of um, Bartel even and Sims run two wheels onto the grass on the exit of the gooseneck now into Mansfield the left hander down the hill there through the left hander now the um, it's not really a straight, is it? The kinks and the straights. They head down towards the mountain for the first time. Buckton sits in the middle of the road. He sees Ben Sims closing quickly. Sims starts his seventh on the grid. Four of all ready. Now Hall bends. Great part of the circuit, this is. Hall of Cattle Park. Great circuit, indeed. And... Sam Mitchell, reigning champion, returning this weekend. Westy Mitchell, his dad, raced the car the last few weekends. And Sam Mitchell leads the first lap here at Cowgill Park. And he's already got a gap already as the cars cross the line. That's actually 1.6 seconds. Great first lap from Mitchell. Great battle of a second though, because Kavir, he's got Buckton. And look how quick Sims through the corner. Now Buckton looks to the inside as they head through uh, Charlie's. Can't do anything there though. That was the first car, Charlie's. Now they turn the way through the second part of the corner. Then charge their way down Park Straight. Buckton moving around at the slipstream. Cattle Park, such a tight circuit. Not the best of places. We're overtaken. Buckton goes for a gap, but really wasn't there but he's got it done great move from James Buckton I didn't think there was a, a car whip that Kaviri left and he found it he made a, a car whip there and went through the so second position now is Buckton Bartel tried to come up alongside Sims couldn't do it though and up on the inside of Chris Sharples goes Alex Meek Meek gains a position he had a great qualifying he um, in 10th place I think though know, he dropped a few positions on that first lap but he's already making them back up he goes ahead of Chris Sharples and into Park Corner that we gain the opportunity to behind Andrew Mansell now is Alex Meek but uh, Sharples still putting the pressure on heading down into the uh, Mansfield corner then put the power on heading down towards the mountain Meek starting to break away from Sharples possibly although Sharples late on the break and they turn through the mountain over the top of the mountain and down towards Hall Bends Passing the uh, cafeteria there. Back on board is Sims then. He now chases down Kaviri. And look at the speed he carries through Coppice Corner. And then that puts him the inside line for Charlie's. So Ben Sims goes up to third position. He's got himself onto the podium now. The problems in qualifying this morning. He's making men for that in the race. Back on board of Alex Meek. Behind Andrew Mansell now. They're going to have a nice battle there into the second part of Charlie's. So it's such a hard circuit to pass from Cadwell Park. Formula Fords though, are certainly making it done. Not as easy as places like Silverstone and Snatton the last couple of rounds. And, and Mick, right on the outside, headed into the right-hander 
a park corner and he gets it done then to gain the position for Alex Meek. Back on board with Ben Simmons who is now close in on James Buckton as they head up towards Coppice. Going through the left hand of Buckton having a good race here. Through Charlie's they go then. Park straight down towards park corner. This is surely the best place for overtaking because you can use the slipstream down the park straight, which isn't particularly straight. And then you can, there is room. So here we go. Sims is showing up here the, how to do it at park corner. Up on the inside after using the slipstream and then up to second is Ben Simpson. Now Sam Mix with such a big lead. I can't see him catching that up. Alex Meek. Back on board with him. Uh, back with Roland Spencer. He's just ahead. Not much further up the road is Alistair Littlewood. So, a few cars together, down together here. Great grid of cars as well here at Cadwell Park. I think it's something like 29 car average this season for historic Formula 4, which is excellent. Through the mountain then. Come on! Fenton! Sideways over the top of the hill as the car just lifts off. Now through Hall Bends. Down towards the hairpin. You see here we've got battles all the way through the field. This is sort of the mid-pack battles, but battles right to the, the rear of the field. So if you practically come and join the current form before, you'll be made very welcome and you'll find somebody to battle with. Sam Mitchell we can ride on board with now. My favourite section of Cadwell Park, this is through the mountain, then over the top of the crowd, just taking off ever so slightly, the 1600cc cars do, and then Paul Benz, absolutely excellent place to either come and watch race in order to drive. Cars right on the limit through that. Back on board of Meek, who's been closed by James Hadfield, obviously something's happened to Hadfield in this. Uh, yes, yeah, so at the end of the first lap, he was in last position. This shows you, you can overtake at Cadwell Park because he's overtook a good 10 or 15 cars and now he's come around the outside of Alex Meek into the mountain. There's hardly room to do that. But I think he's got it done. Great move there from James Hadfield. Let's have a look at a replay on that then. Very front facing cam with Meek. Look at that Hadfield. Hadn't got it done for the second part of the mountain chicane. That is really quite an excellent move. Slow motion shot there with Ben Sims. You can see the car lifting up because it comes over the top of the mountain. Now on board with Meek again, Hadfield up on the inside of Littlewood, but he, he breaks late, he's on the grass, Hadfield is. Cuts across the grass of the second part of the th uh, corner, and that was Littlewood, although on the grass, goes ahead of him, and now Meek trying to gain both positions heading into Hall Benz. Could only do Hadfield, not really room for side by side through Hall Benz, so he backed out of it very wisely indeed. It's Mitchell then, who's got a bit of a lappery up the road. Is that looking like Julian Pierce? Oh, arm out the cockpit for Mitchell. Race is being stopped. I think an incident um, for Michael Wrigley has brought an end to that one. So it's a win for Sam Mitchell by six seconds. The race being brought back to the completion of nine laps, which in our battle means James Hadfield finishes in tenth ahead of Alex Mick. But Ben Simpson finished second. Great result for James Buckton. He was third. Robert Wainwright, we didn't see. He finished fourth. He got himself ahead of Pierty Caviri. And Simon Toyn in sixth. Brian Morris, Alistair Little, Roland Svensson and James Hadfield completes your top ten of the seventh round of the HSCC Historic Formula Ford Championship.